Once you've completed sanitizing the machine, I'm going to show you how you can hook up a bag. So you have your hose connection sitting down in your bucket of sanitizer. You can put it up in the adapter holder on the door so that it stays sanitary and you don't touch it. From there, you have your mix in your lower drawer. You can pick it up, remove the cap, grab the connector out of the holder, insert it into the bag. From there, we can then prime our machine. When you prime it, you want to have the spigot open, turn on the pump, and it'll begin sucking product up and pushing the rest of the sanitizer out. Now there's two ways to know when you've got all the sanitizer out. One, the mix will become cool and creamy coming out of the dispense nozzle. And two, it'll actually stop splashing in the water. So we'll wait and we'll prime this cylinder up. Once it stops splashing, it's pure mix, as it'll just cut through the water. There it just quit splashing. It's cool and creamy to the touch. We then close our spigot, open our air bleed, and wait for the pump to pump up till the mix starts coming out of the air bleed. You would then close the air bleed, wait for the pump to shut off, and turn the unit to freeze, allow it to cycle for about 15 minutes, and then the product will be servable. One common error code or error that comes up with this is back to the pump timeout of three and a half minutes. Depending on the operator or how they're accustomed to doing this, they may hit that time period. When you're in clean mode, the pump will just switch itself off. It will not throw an error or shut anything off. Okay, You just turn the pump back on and keep going. If you're in the freeze mode, it'll again trip the pump low PSI, shut down the affected pump, but allow the cylinder to stay in freeze mode. To reset it in freeze mode, you have to turn the main power switch off and back on, and then you can turn the machine back to freeze and it'll continue operation.